All right, in this video, we are gonna talk about increasing valency and the main ways that languages do this. So first, I wanna talk about what it means, what valency refers to. Um, essentially, valency just is the number of arguments that a verb takes. So a verb can be avalent, monovalent, bivalent, trivalent, quadrivalent, I guess it would be quinvalent. Um, you can just keep going up uh, counting, right? So an avalent verb has no arguments, a monovalent verb has one argument, a bivalent verb has two arguments, and a trivalent verb has three arguments. Um, some examples of these, um, in most languages, the verbs rain and snow and things like that are, are avalent. Um, we don't have avalent verbs in English, and so we have to say it rained instead of just rained. Um, in most languages, you can just say rained outside or something like that. And, and um, and that means it rained, right? So this is just a weird trait of English that we don't have any avalent verbs. Um, in monovalent, uh, these are verbs like sing, run, grow. These are intransitive verbs, right, is the other word for these types of verbs. Um, bivalent verbs are also known as transitive verbs. They take two arguments, read, watch, drink. Um, and trivalent verbs are also known as ditransitive verbs. That's a little confusing because we're switching between um, uh, Greek and, and Latin prefixes, um, but but it means a, a trivalent verb has three arguments, so these are things like give, hand, put, bring, give me a ha hand, um, or, or give, give, give me a cake, uh, hand me that razor, uh, uh, put the popcorn on the table, um, things like that. Um, now, there are two ways that we can take a verb and morphologically or otherwise increase its valency, right? Two different, there are two main ways that we can add arguments um, to verbs, right? So the first route is by using, using some sort of causative. So a causative is a way that you add causing arguments. So these are usually like adding extra subjects is what they look like morphologically. Um, uh, so, for example, if we start out with the sentence, Leo ran, and then we add some sort of causative suffix onto it, um, which is this lovely little causative here, which I will highlight for you. Um, this lovely little causative suffix on it, now saying Leo ran causative is ungrammatical because it needs another argument. So you can say, um, Mariella Leo ran causative, right? Which means Mariella made Leo run, right? So Leo is still the one doing the running. Um, but we have another argument here, Mariella, who is making that running happen. Um, uh, similarly, you can, can, you can add these causer arguments to transitives. So if Leo's cutting a cake, um, Mariella can make Leo cut a cake, right? That works fine. Um, uh, the other route that we can take is applicatives. And applicatives do basically the same thing as causatives, except that they add object arguments instead of you know, uh, causing or subject type arguments. So, so we can start with the sentence, Leo cut the cake, um, and, and add an applicative to it. And now you can't just say Leo cut the cake because there's another, you're waiting for your second object, right? So if we say Leo cut Mariella the cake with the applicative, which says that we need this, then it's grammatical, right? So um, in English, we can just use a zero applicative, is what it's called in a lot of cases, which is what lets us say Leo cut the cake and Leo cut Mariella the cake, and we just assume that this means uh, Mariella is, is the recipient or the beneficiary or something like that. There's some reason he's cutting the cake for Mariella. Um, there are some languages where we can just stack on the applicatives and have a sentence like um, Leo cut applicative applicative, right? So we need to add two extra arguments. Mariella, her sister, the cake, which would mean something like Leo cut some cake for Mariella's sister so that Mariella didn't have to because Mariella was, you know, asleep in her chair or something like that, right? Um, a lot of Bantu languages have these uh, very, very huge stacks of applicatives. Um, so essentially, if you want to increase the valency, you either have to increase the number of subjects or the number of objects. And the interpretation of those is going to be language dependent, but you call it a causative if you're um, adding subjects and an applicative if you're adding objects.